I do think that there is a lot of great aspiring creatives out there, entrepreneurs, businessmen. And uh, I think there's something to learn from this conversation. I'm going to try to be uh, uh, quick here. But really, uh, some of this stems from <laughs> this absolute nuke that my man's uh, Gary, a.k.a. Uh, y'all know him, a neurotic. And he says, good news. All of those indie cre comic creators that have time to bitch about Eric D. July must be done with their books that you paid for. You should be seeing them all soon. Now, this was a, a hilarious post, and I, 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 it made some people mad. And we're going to talk about that. Just uh, let's, let's real quick kind of get into that. Obviously, he's referring to people that have um, had some things to say about me. But I think the context actu actually matters. It's funny. There are people that were sharing that around and it was like, hey, here's my book. I fulfilled it. If you if you if you have fulfilled your stuff or you have uh, uh, been a good businessman or woman, you're, he's not who you're talking about. He's talking about those, and this is why the context matters, that talk about me perhaps endlessly. And they are sitting on uh, thousands of dollars of people's money and have yet to deliver on it. They, uh, in some case, even more than that. They've gone in months, sometimes even years, without updating their folks, and yet they are wasting a lot of time and effort streaming and doing other stuff and talking about me, okay? So that's the context, right? That That's the people, and, and that's an issue, right? And hilariously enough, these people are the same individuals that will levy stuff at me, absolute lies, claim, hey, Eric, can't take criticism. This is boring, non-talking point that a lot of people like to use. And this is being critical of them. And they shut down almost immediately when you bring that up and they start making excuses as far as to why something has not been delivered in X, X, Y and Z. And this is why I said that this is not just about, quote unquote, late books. OK, that's not what this this is. This is about your inability to read the room or your lack of, let's say, self-awareness. And this is where the advice comes in. Customers see that stuff, guys. OK. When you are public and you dedicate a lot of energy towards something and you have other obligations that you have not uh, honored, that it, they see that. And that's, that makes for bad business. Again, ironic. You'll have people that say what I'm doing is a threat to X, Y, and Z when I can make the argument and anybody would make the argument that a lot of people have been turned off to go support certain independent creatives because they've been burned in the past. Uh, stuff that took forever for them to get missing all sorts of dates. Um, uh, and again, there's also that lack of communication. You can make the argument that that's the bigger issue is that there's a lack of, uh, of communication and that those uh, communi that communication is those excuses being made. See, you set the tone as a, whether it be you a publisher or businessman in any capacity, doesn't matter what industry you're in, you set the tone. So it's on you to honor that. If you think that you cannot, even if it's just a guest, you need to make an educated one. But if you think that you can't make a particular date, then that goes back to a you problem. That means you do not have the ability to assess, right? And this is, again, a criticism and a legitimate one. You do not possess either that skill set or you don't have the people around you that can help you properly assess the market so that you don't overcommit to things, right? This is what I mean when I say you set the tone and why it's especially inexcusable. See, when the Riververse makes mistakes, okay, if there was an error, like remember when I said, when we talked about that, that, that typo error that was in ISOM 2, did I make an excuse for that? No. There was no excuse that I made for that. I did a video and I acknowledged it like, OK, this was something that, you know, was was actually caught. But when submitted to the printer. Right. And, and, and instead of, uh, you know, I should have got a digital copy and I should have approved that instead of taking the word for it for it. And that was a mistake on me. Right. No excuse. No excuse. Any any sort of errors, even from an art perspective. You not you don't you've never heard me make an excuse. 
Never heard me make an excuse. If there's a legitimate error. Now, well, yeah. If you were just like, well, every, uh, Eric sucks or you lie about my artist talking about SketchUp and shit. Yeah, I'm, I got to check you on that, right? Just saying like, hey, X, Y, Z sucks. Like that's not a, that's something else. That's different. But if there's something that's a legitimate issue, a legitimate problem, you have never heard me make an excuse for it. Never. You set the tone as the, the owner and operator of your business. If you need help in that capacity, you need to go get it. There's no excuses to be made. And it doesn't look good as a creative and as a businessman. In no other capacity will we accept that. It's not a norm. No, don't let these people pretend. Even in crowdfunding, there are people that crowdfund and, and got it down. Pat, no problems. Little problems. And when there is a problem, they are very commun they, they communicate with their audience, right? They they that is in any business, you make a transaction, you part ways with your money, you get the product. Or that creative business honors their side of the doesn't matter if you go into the store or whatever it is that you're doing. Right. You are in it. You, you, you're parting ways with your your money, whatever y'all agreed upon. It is not irrational for them to hold you to that standard. And most customers of any business are going to be very understandable. I'm not going to say all, but they're going to be a very understandable if there is some hiccup. You just have to be transparent with them and have to be honest with them. But it looks bad if you are wasting a lot of time, uh, a, a lot of efforts. In streaming about a guy when his company that has delivered on everything it is that he said, they see that and it looks terrible. Because it's like, it, it almost looks like, hey, you're substituting time that you could be dedicating to getting this thing done to something completely unrelated. Like, hey, worrying about what the hell I'm doing. So from a business perspective, the focus needs to be there. And where you do lack the, the um, know-how, that's when you start asking questions. That's when you start reaching out to people. And that's when you start doing like what I did. If it's something that I don't understand, I will surround myself with people that do understand. And I'm always looking to improve it. Always, always looking to improve where I can. I do not pretend that you've never heard me act as if I'm a perfect man. Nobody is that. None of y'all are Jesus. Nobody here is Jesus. Okay. So I do everything it is that I can to be the best version of me and that bet you know i have improved month to month with everything it is that i've done and when i've seen errors or there's holes in the business and that uh, gaps let's say that i go hit people up and we bring them on we knew we a gap lore masters we needed those a gap kane and white we needed an art director a, so we can improve our books that's the gap it is that we feel right and that needs to be a, the approach of any businessman so it's not just about it's no, let me backtrack. I'll tell you what it is about. It's about honoring your obligations, actual obligations. Someone part ways with their money. You, you owe them at minimum to deliver on what it is that you said that you were going to do. And I said, if y'all got to paint me as a villain for that to light a fire under some of y'all to just go get it done. Fine. Whatever. Everybody benefits. Everybody benefits everybody benefits the creators benefit from that and trust is either gained or repaired as best as it can be as best as it can be when you just shut up and go deliver on what it is that you said it that you said you were going to do and like i've said in the videos before do not use any sort of if you think we had a hiccup somewhere do not use us as a reason why you under deliver and over promise that has nothing to do with it. So when someone is a half a year late on, on a, on a deadline that they said, do not allow them to be like, well, well, I'm trying to avoid these problems. It doesn't take you six fucking months to do that. This isn't a quality over quantity thing or speed, but no, this is a focus thing. This is a, 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 uh, this is about your ambition and more importantly it's about discipline 
discipline. So if you're going to levy criticisms at other people, right, it is illogical. It is antithetical for you to shut down, melt down and start making excuses when the clear and obvious thing. And the only thing it is that we're saying here, get your shit done. And if you need to stop streaming for a little bit, if you need to stop posting on the Internet for a little bit, if you need to stop dicking around, going on trips, whatever it looks like. So you can get focused, do that. That's it. It's about kind. It looks terrible as I'm, I'm just giving you advice here. It looks terrible on your business. When you're making video after video about people that actually get out there and get stuff done when you have your own pending obligations that you have refused to address. That's the context. It's not it's not just about late book shit happens. We know that. But it's about your under uh, you're over promising and you're under delivering and then going completely ghost when people ask you questions about it. That is not a norm. That's not, it's not a norm for anybody. And I don't care who you are. This is not anything that just applies to smaller guys. Boom Studios did the same shit. And it's a problem. This should not be a norm in comic books. And it's not. I don't believe that it is. I believe some folks are trying to use this method of crowdfunding as their personal piggy bank. And that is disgusting. And it's especially... It is especially stupid when you have folks that will levy this nonsense at me acting like what I do is a scam when you sitting on that much money and refusing to deliver on it. And then going around saying that I'm the one that's the problem and oh, well, I'm creating issues and no, 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 I'm the responding agency here. All I want is for this industry to be great. Shut the fuck up talking about me or anybody else for that matter. Go get your shit done. That's it. Period. If these cats wasn't sitting here talking noise, they they were serving and actually delivering on their stuff. And like leaving me the fuck out their mouth, you would never hear me say jack shit about them. You have never heard me initiate a con a, a conflict with anybody in the independent space. Never. I do not go initiating stuff. That's not my thing. Even to this day, I'm not going at the folks that have that are other creatives that have gone around, started shit, trying to shit on me. You don't see me going to their fans or uh, and disrespecting their fans. Right. Uh, uh, talking about how uh, out of their minds they are. You don't hear me do any of that stuff. You don't hear me go. Hey, I'm going to go to this book and purposely go try to nitpick everything that's an issue. You don't hear me do any of that. Because that's not my thing. I genuinely want comic books, especially but in the any in independent se independent sector to thrive. This is why I will offer advice to folks that ask for it. So if you are one of those guys that has a tendency to overpromise, you you um you don't really understand how to estimate this and that issues with how much you charge, issues with hit me up, bros. Don't shut down, hit me up. Don't go gossip and get angry like women at a beauty salon. Just hit me up and I will assist you in whatever way it is that I can, because I value this industry thriving over any of this other. Hey, I need to be the head honcho of, of I don't care about none of that shit. None of that stuff matters to me at all. I want to see the industry thrive. So to Gary's point, shut up talking about me or anybody else and start focusing on you. And again, to the bigger guys like the Boom Studios, which I'm not sure. I don't know what it is that they're doing. I don't know if they are f using uh, uh, like this crowdfund method to fund a previous project. I don't know. But like when something like Berserk or, or excuse me, Ke Keanu Reeves book. Right. It's the same thing. They had an initial like promise. And then it took them, what, three years to, 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 to like some people this year finally got their stuff with that with that with that uh, Kickstarter campaign. That's unacceptable. And it's not the customer's fault there. Right. It's a reasonable expectation. Hey, you show me something cool. I'm willing to give you money for it. You're telling me that that this is what you're going to give me. This is you're telling me this is when it's going to get here. It is a reasonable expectation for them to be like, hey, 
I expect that. And if there are any hiccups, all you got to do is be transparent with them. So if you learn nothing else from this video, no matter who it is that you are, take me out of the equation. I know it's like one of those things where it's probably like you hear it from me and you think it's a problem just because you don't like me. I don't care who it, who it is. It's advice that everybody can follow, including me. Focus. Get focused. Get your stuff done. Work on your craft. And don't leave your folks hanging that are part of ways with your money. It's an easy request. And it looks bad. I'm just giving you advice from business perspective. When you don't deliver on something and people can see you spending hours on end doing something that is completely irrelevant to your project, getting complete. People are parting ways with their money. I keep saying it. They are not people's personal piggy bank, man. That's not how this shit works. You're giving you, you're telling them to invest in the ideas. It is that you have. It is perfectly reasonable for them to get their get uh, to get what it is that you promised them. Period. That is something that it, 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 there's no buts to it. There's no but this and this. Th there's nothing to it. All that because you set the tone. Nobody told you to set the date when you set it. Nobody told you to start asking people for money. Nobody did that. You did it. It's not an irrational request. Do what you need to do. Alpha Core number one's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett, visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.